Hey friends, Catherine here. The other day I showed you the extracting of honey from comb using a pretty sophisticated and expensive piece of equipment called a honey extractor. It spins the frames with the comb in them and the honey is drawn out of them, but they are expensive and not everybody can afford them or get access to them. So there is, I wanted to show you, another way to extract honey. You will need a knife. It doesn't have to be a sharp knife. This is a, actually a cheese knife, just to prove my point that it doesn't have to be a sharp one. But you do want it to be warm. So I've got a glass of water that was boiling not too long ago right here, and I'm letting the knife rest in that. Then you are going to want something to strain your honey with. I like paint strainer bags, but cheesecloth works really well. They make special strainers just for honey if you want to spend extra money on that kind of thing. Uh, you're going to want something to support your cloth to strain it with. I like a kitchen strainer. And you're going to want something to catch your honey in. This is a bowl. You can use a bucket or whatever you have. I've got a bowl. And there we go. Then um, you, uh, the other thing that you're going to want is gloves because this is a really actually a hands-on kind of process and you're going to want gloves. You're going to want to have the gloves. You're going to want to be able to wear <laughs> gloves that will be a significant benefit to you. Um, so there we go. We are all kitted out. I also have a baking sheet down on my surface that way I can pick it up and carry it somewhere where I can wash it when I'm done because I'm going to get honey on it. I, invariably I end up with honey everywhere whenever I'm doing extracting. So there we have it. We've got our setup, our bowl, our support, our straining mesh, the cookie sheet underneath the whole thing, the knife and the hot water, and we have a frame of honey. You want your honey to be at least 80% capped, and this frame here is perfect for that, so I'm just going to set it down in there for the moment, and just toward the top, start cutting the comb away from the frame. Just toward the top. I like to leave a strip of comb at the top because I'm going to reuse this frame next year for the bees. And it is a good idea to leave something there to give them the idea. You know, they can figure it out, but it's nice to have something there to give them a little hint and just cut the comb fully out of the frame go and all the way down okay and pop my knife back into the hot water and lift my comb out and just kind of set it in the strainer there and now i've got this empty frame well mostly empty it's got this little band of comb at the top which is perfect and I will just set that aside. Now, for the fun part, this is how you extract honey without an extractor. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but the honey is just oozing out of my fist there. There we go like that. You just take the pieces of comb and you crush them. You can also set some of this comb aside to put inside of the jar for like crushed comb and I might do that later but I want to see how much honey I get from this frame and decide what I want to do from there. This is going to be a process that you're only going to want to do a couple of frames with. I'm only doing four frames with this. This process, by the way, is called Crush and Strain. I'm sure I'll include it in the title, but I didn't mention it earlier, so I thought I'd say it. Um, this process is called Crush and Strain because you are crushing 
and then straining. Pretty straightforward. Um, there we go. Okay. And then another chunk of comb and just crush it. Ooh <laughs> This is fun for a, the first little bit, but after a while, it can get tiring on the hands, which is why I say you only want to do it for a couple of frames. You don't want to do it for like an entire box. If you have an entire box and there's just, you don't own an extractor, join a bee club and see if they'll let you borrow one. Um, that's what I do when I need an extractor. I borrow the extractor my bee club keeps. There we go. Okay. Last section. Oof. And once I have crushed all of the comb I will have to sit and wait for the honey to strain out and since honey is so thick it goes slowly but that'll be the way that it works just have to wait for it to strain once it has I can do the next frame and then the next frame and then the next one and then we'll be ready for well done with ready for bottling. So this is what I'm doing today, friends. Crushing honeycomb with my bare hands, maybe doing some cut comb. Ooh, while I'm thinking about it, I wanted to discuss with you, because I think it's interesting, the different ways that honey is prepared for consumption. And by that, of course, I mean extracted honey, you know, the kind that you find in the store that is just a jar of liquid honey. Then you've got a uh, chunk honey, which is a jar of liquid honey with pieces of comb in it. Usually one large piece as big as can fit in the jar and then the rest of the space around it is filled with honey. Um, and then there is what's called cut comb, which is, well, a chunk of comb that is cut and set in a dish. Uh, that is also an excellent way to have honey. There are more niche ways of preparing honey, like creamed honey. If you haven't ever had creamed honey, I definitely recommend checking it out. But those ones, uh, extracted honey, uh, chunk honey, and cut comb are the three big ones, and they are most popular in that order, which is why I listed them in that order. Um, let's see. Just trying to squeeze the honey out. And that's what I'm doing today. Did I already say that? I think I already said that. I would love to hear what you're doing today. I am always interested in the things that other people are trying. So if you're trying something new, let me know. Or if you have a suggestion for something that you think I would like to try, let me know. Because I'm always interested in trying new things myself as well. Um, I'm putting up new videos every day. So I encourage you to come back tomorrow and see me again because there will be something new. And... I hope you really enjoyed this. If you did, remember to subscribe. And I will hopefully see you all tomorrow. Bye. I've got to take off my glove to turn off the camera. I maybe shouldn't have said goodbye yet. Let's see if I can do it. Oh. No, man, that happened. Okay, come on. Honey, man. Honey, honey. Okay.
cannot get a grip on them. Okay, come on, almost. Sorry about this. There we go. Okay, now for realsies. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.